Hi everyone, this is Germinal Van. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about mathematical models in economics. I would uh, specifically want to address the usefulness of mathematical models and their shortcomings as well. But first, let me start this video by a quote. By, uh, this quote is by a famous uh, British statistician. I even made a post about him a couple of weeks ago. His name is George Box. He said, all models are wrong, but some are useful. So I personally go from the assumption that every mathematical model that we use in economics, in finance, in political science, even in the hard sciences, all these models are wrong. But is it because they're wrong that they're necessarily useless? I don't think so. Some of them actually may be efficient. Some of them uh, have demonstrated to have some utility. So that's why it is important to understand why we use them and also to understand their limitations. So a mathematical model is first and foremost a theoretical structure that attempts that we use mainly to develop a theory through a set of, of assumptions. So they're useful because a mathematical model helps you uh, explain clearly and concisely what your theory is about. But it is important to understand that mathematical models are not concerned with empirical verification. So pretty much mathematical economics is not concerned with empirical verification. In fact, mathematical economics, or should I say mathematical models, are pretty much a priori rationalism. They're exactly like praxeology, but unlike praxeology, is we just use numbers instead of verbal reasoning. So praxeology and mathematical economics are both not subject to empirical verification. And uh, this is one thing that kind of bothers me a little bit. I'm a very empirical person. I need to always test uh, whatever assumption or hypothesis that is uh, that we're trying to demonstrate. I feel the need to test it. That's why I focus more on econometrics and statistics rather than uh, rather than mathematical economics per se but mathematical economics is uh, very useful spe specifically mathematical models they're very useful because as i said they help us explain clearly and concisely uh the methodology of our analysis but it is important also to understand that they do not necessarily reflect reality. A mathematical model is useful to illustrate a theory. It is useful to illustrate a point. It is useful to illustrate the methodology of a hypothesis. But a mathematical model does not uh, empirically validate that hypothesis. People prefer using mathematical models, as I say, because it is concise compared to verbal reasoning. Verbal reasoning, it is sometimes hard to catch everything in it, and people can get lost in the in the uh, in the verbal development of the theory. While the math is used basically as a rhetorical device to make sure that you have not uh, skipped any part of the process of your analysis. But when, we, when it comes to the shortcomings of, um, of the use of mathematical models, Austrians are pretty much correct about uh, not relying on mathematical models. However, there are many so-called Austrians who are highly dogmatic and they have been distorting the, uh, they have been distorting pretty much what Austrian economists are trying to say. Austrian economists are not against the use of mathematical models inherently. They're not against that. They say those models could be useful when it comes to 
the illustration of a point, the illustration of a theory or a, or a uh, hypothesis. Their contention is with the fact that people use those models to try to implement and enforce policies on people. And Austrians are ar arguing that the economy is a far complex system. We cannot capture all the variables that are that 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 are intertwined. And plus, people have their own preferences, so it is very hard to kind of, to try to quantify someone's preference. And I agree with Austrians on their point, but as I said, there are many adherents to the Austrian philosophy or to the Austrian uh, school of thought who claim that Austrians are completely and, in and inherently against uh, the use of mathematics in economics. And that's not true and I would like to rectify that. Austrians are not opposed to the use of models when it comes to simply illustrate a theory. They may not use um, mathematical models as their tool of analysis themselves. Many Austrians don't, but some Austrians are not hostile to that at all. Some Austrians actually do use um, mathematics as a tool of analysis in economics, but they do not use those mathematical models as a way to reflect reality and try to advise policies on that. And that's where the problem of central planning has come into play and that's why there are many limitations on the use of mathematical models. So I don't know if you guys know this but Marxist economists or Marxist communists and Keynesian economists, they're very smart people. They're very very smart, they're extremely smart people. But the arrogance of their intelligence took the best of them and they think that they can uh, control people's lives through those models. Because central planning rely on those mathematical or econometric models to try to assess reality and implement policies based on these models and tell people how to live their lives. So that's a problem. People uh, use mathematical models to coerce others on, of their views because central planners believe that they have a better assessment and knowledge of what is best for society as a whole because they use math all the time. Again, the use of mathematics in economics, the use of mathematical models in economics are simply to explain a relationship. It is simply to explain a relationship between various forces that interact with each other, with each other, uh, within the economic process that's all that's what mathematical models are used for nothing more nothing less and you have uh economists like paul samuelson that have been highly critical of who build their entire theory on the use of mathematics and to me this is not the right method of analysis I made a video a couple months ago uh, about uh, economic analysis and the use of math and I said that you only use mathematical models to ascertain your theory. So you develop first of all verbally your theory and then you use the math to see if what you develop verbally uh, coincide with the mathematical language you're using. That's why it's, that's, that's where the mathematical models make sense. But those economists, like Paul Samuelson, they use math to try to create policies. Again, Austrians are correct when it comes to the fact that you cannot rely on mathematical models to implement policies because mathematical models are inherently wrong. They are inherently wrong. But some of them are useful. Some of them are, are useful and their usefulness is simply to understand the relationship that we're trying to, to evaluate. That's where they're useful. But we don't use math mathematics or we don't use mathematical models to reflect reality. 
and when you have like because they use basically those oversimplified model and say that this is how the this is how life works this is how people interact within the economy that's not true the economy is far too complex people change their minds all the time the people are always subject to preferences so you cannot uh, use mathematical model to try to quantify people's behavior and say that this is how people behave so this is the so this is what we should do yes we can use mathematical models to understand a trend that's what we use, that's what we do in in econometrics we use uh, statistical models to understand the trend of past events and how these past events could lead to future events and even the projections that we do the forecasting that we do in econometrics it is not necessarily accurate again these forecast things are just estimations it doesn't mean that it is going to exactly happen the way we predict that it's going to happen they're just estimations that help us understand based on those estimations what can we do the estimations are closed they give us a sense of of accuracy when it comes to what to expect but it doesn't mean that it is necessarily going to happen that way because we, we predict it that way that's not true so this is one thing also i wanted to clarify and that's what nasim taleb wrote in black swan he said that too many people in the financial industry are, are they're heavily relying on those mathematical models to try to uh, to uh, to control the market, and that's why most of the predictions are wrong. So we don't. So the purpose of mathematical models is not uh, to is is not to implement policies, not to coerce people. It's simply to illustrate to explain a point, to explain a theory, to structure a hypothesis. That's why mathematical models are, are useful. But we don't use them to implement policies. And that's why central planning has always been a failure because central planners use mathematical models to implement policies. Mathematical models are far too oversimplified to accurately reflect reality life is far too complex so we cannot use uh, math models to to reflect reality it's simply not realistic even when we say that uh, uh, that individuals are all the time rational that's not true individuals are not always rational in the marketplace so again we cannot use a mathematical model to oversimplify that rationality in order to understand the maximum and minimum uh choices when it comes to goods and services as james buchanan said he said that the appropriate mathematics in economics is not the math of maximum and minimum but the, the bad game theory which is to understand the interactions of people why people make the choices they do and game theory is the map that explains the rationale behind someone's choice so i hope uh this video clearly uh, explained the distinction why mathematical models are useful but why they also have a lot of shortcomings so let me know what you guys think in the comments and like subscribe and share with anyone that is interested in mathematics economics econometrics and statistics thank you guys until next time